Okay, we got, we got, we got. We're, we're back. My eyes are drawn to a certain thing that is not boxed up there. So I, I bought a little something. I was at the Warwick Mall and I went into this weird little ornament store. Yep. I know you like ornaments. I love weird little ornament you're, stores. You're sad that Pier 1 has gone away. I am. It was after Christmas. Yep. And they were all on sale. Oh. And two caught my eye. Let's see what they are. This is, I'm gonna give you these as, as gifts. Well, thank you, Frankie. What a nice thing to do. And look at it. It's the original Ann and Hope logo. MyLittleTown.com. This is Ann and Hope's logo from like 54 to 74. It's awesome. I love it, actually. I'm gonna hang it on my tree, which is still up. How long is that gonna go on for? Uh, probably till the end of the month. Yeah. I mean, I, I really love Christmas. People give you a lot of crap for celebrating early. Early November, people are like, oh, there's already stuff. And I'm like, it's gonna be two seconds from now and it will be gone. Yeah. So like, yeah, I, I say go for it. I'm just stretching out a little bit. And I did buy a second one. Which is a Betty's. Probably not as sentimental to you, but certainly it's-, it's As time goes on, it has actually become more sentimental yeah. because it's gone and it's never coming back. But it's certainly related to our show. So it's been around for a long time. It's one of the only stores that survived the Walmart thing. It was the last of that retail era. It's big and boxy, just like all the Benny's stores were. I think it, it'll go well with your life. Thank you, Frankie. Those are a lovely gift. Sure. I got this in the mail, okay. Lexington, Kentucky. Now, I much noticed that this is not a box, but an right. envelope. I got an envelope from somebody. It's this um, marketing thing, crafts like send nudes. And it's a picture of a bowl of macaroni and cheese mosaic out. And it says, hot and saucy, someone just sent you nudes. You know, N-O-O-D-S. And then you send them a coupon. Free any one Kraft mac and cheese or original box up to $1.50. Expires 12-31-2020, it's already expired. Look, I'm, I'm not overly upset by the loss of a $1.25 coupon. Um, Maybe a little? A little. <laughs> Is this like something you requested? Is no, this, no. You just got it in the mail? It was a marketing campaign from Kraft. I think it's kind of like give your friend a Coke. Yeah, yeah. It was like send nudes. But why did they target you? Well, Kraft didn't send me this. Oh. Some fan sent me this. I don't know who exactly. It's but... a mystery. I get this is the kind of new way to advertise your product to young people is make these meme -y kind of, right. you know. Be a meme lord. Corporate meme lord, which is the cringiest possible version of memes. I don't know where or when. We've definitely made the nudes joke before oh, on I'm the show. Oh, I'm sure we have. Yeah. Here's another really we weird piece of fan art. This is like a summer vacation. Are you Cra naked? Yes. Okay. Kraft Family's Noodleist Camp, because it's a noodleist camp. Oh. Oh. Um, it's a little funny, mosaicing out the mac and cheese. It's a little funny. Tee hee. <laughs> All right. Well, that that is interesting, certainly. Oh, this is good old Amy Sater Brown. Amy Sater Brown. How you doing, you can't Amy? keep her down when it comes to shipping us you stuff. can't keep her down. Amy Sater Brown, <laughs> you can't keep her down. When she ships us stuff, which is all the time. <laughs> it's a non-edible mac and cheese fun. Hmm, it comes with a ketchup game. It's almost like ketchup and mac and cheese belong together. Winking, smiling face, enjoy. This is quite the thing. So it's not food? It is three card and dice-based games. This definitely looks like a box of macaroni and cheese. This kind of looks like a bottle of ketchup for like play. And this definitely looks like a box of Jello. It's kind of cute. I want to play the mac and cheese game. Whatever it is, I want to play it. <laughs> Definitely not nudes in there. And then you get a Jello card game. Yeah, we get some mac and cheese dice, which are kind of cool. This little standee, which is, you know, the macaroni and cheese- Dinosaur. Dinosaur character. It's Kraft cheese and macaroni. Like a dinosaur a -roni. It's when the cheese starts flowing. It's your going. Sorry, a little bit of dead air, because I can't open things. There was a, um, a coworker of mine yep. this week received voicemails and there, it's two minutes of a guy comically snoring into the mic receiver and it's just dead air and he's like, hello? And then, the, and then just Very, very strange. Did someone sit on their phone or is this some kind of weird marketing campaign? I think it's just a big F you. <laughs> hey, it's us. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie, would you read the directions for this game? I hate board games. <laughs> and one of the reasons is because of this. Uh, shuffle and deal the whole deck so everyone has the same amount of cards. If there are extra cards, set them aside out of play. For example, in a four player game, there'll be two extra cards. I, I'm so bored. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Right? I feel bad for not playing it, but 
We're not playing it. We're not playing it. <laughs> it involves making macaroni and cheese shapes when you earn cards from rolling die in combination with your drawing cards. Who would do it? I would do it because I like games. <laughs> For a while I was doing before COVID times, uh, you know, we had game nights every Thursday. We'd have people over play some games. I'd, I'd bring this out. We'd probably only play it once. It's probably like a barely okay game, but... Uh, it's just to get you to buy Heinz related products. Yes. Yeah. Similar to sending nudes. I didn't know that Heinz sold Jello. I did not actually Is know that. Is that true? Left hand jiggle. There's like a whole game with the Jello. There's, yeah, there's three games here. It's got this cute little pad for keeping score. All right, this game has just a single sheet for how to do it. Set up, open the bottle, take out the dice, put the dice in the cup and roll. Okay, we can we can do this. The player who most recently had Heinz ketchup goes first. I buy yeah. generic ketchup, so. Do you, when was the last time you had Heinz ketchup? Uh, early last year. Really? So yeah. it's definitely me. If you roll any Heinz ketchup labels, count them. One. You may re-roll all five dice to try to get more ketchup labels for a higher score. What's that all about? You just get infinite lives? You may roll all five dice together a maximum of three times. Oh. As long as you get one ketchup label each time, your points are safe. So you kind of add up all your ketchup labels. It's a lame game. I got one ketchup bottle. Uh, there's, there's additional rules and regulations. This is the kind of thing, if I had received it as a gift for Christmas, I would be really kind of, that's very cute. And thank you very much. And as we have, because this isn't going home with Frankie. Thank you very much. Nice. Amy Sater Brown. Very cool stuff. I like them a lot. I guarantee you that at some point in the future, I will make people play these games. I may even get out my phone and make content about it at that time. I think you'd have to. Okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>